Hi guys, welcome to The Court Report. My name is Alex Hithard and today I am filming live from Montreal. Good day to you all and good day to you too, Alex Hithard. Do we have an update on any new tennis esports events starting in 2023? Today we have the finals uh, of the Motorola Razor virtual reality tournament uh, as well as two new launches. One is the Wilson Virtual Championships that started on Monday where we are doing the same thing. The finalists will be flown into New York uh, and we have the VR Master League launching uh, its preseason uh, August 28th uh, where we will have a preliminary tournament and a season uh, l season one starting in late September. So that is super exciting for competitors. Um, just to update you on everything else, uh, the virtual reality tournament will be happening Friday, August 11th. We are flying in Cat84 from the UK to Montreal where Gregory will be receiving him with open, open arms for over seven and a half thousand Canadian dollars. Uh, that is a huge prize. Thank you very much to Motorola Razor. So what else has been happening where you are, Alex? And have you met anybody interesting out there? Since being here in Toronto, we have had three uh, professional tennis players play. One, Magda uh, Magdalenat from Poland. She is WTA 25. Uh, she played hit em all and got 70,000 in her first try. She loved it and didn't want to stop playing. We had an exhibition in Montreal as well with a wheelchair tennis player, Plaster59, who was also a competitor for the virtual reality tournament. Uh, he played uh, against Magda as well. We had Gail Morfis, a finalist of the Australian Open uh, in 2015 and a former number six ATP player. And we just had Tommy Paul, number 17 ATP, from the United States come and play hit em all. He beat Magda and he got over 70,000 or 80,000 in his first try. So uh, stay tuned for more and we'll update you on the finals as it happens on August 11th. Stay tuned and we'll be broadcasting it live. Thanks very much and see you next time.